Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and fuzzy studio audience. Yep, that is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, uh, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Um, well, heading uh, east here on I-70, we're west of Columbus. We've got a load of uh, some sort of coiled metal, much like I brought to Fort Dodge, Iowa, that I had picked up in West Middlesex, Pennsylvania. I picked up at the exact same place, and now I'm bringing this to Columbus uh, for a delivery this afternoon, today being Friday the 5th, I believe, of March. Already into March. A little bit warmer weather today. I'm liking that. 49 degrees is what the truck's telling me. So not bad at all. Thought we'd go back and forth again a little bit between the dash cam and, uh, and the end cap shot here. My last video I uh, did last Sunday talked about all the the alignment, the oil change, and rotating the steer tires and everything I did at the Sap Brothers in Clearfield, Pennsylvania. And then after I uh, delivered in Cleveland Tuesday morning, went over to uh, the Freightliner Tuesday night and spent a lot of money, got my new muffler on, uh, my new white pipe for the muffler system. They had to put on new flex pipe that goes between the white pipe and the stacks and uh, some brackets and so forth. Luckily, the white pipe was actually $600 less than they quoted me on the phone. So it did save me some money, but I still ended up spending, are you ready? 2,350 bucks. Ah! Yeah. But got all that done Tuesday night. Uh, then, yeah, I had the load going to Fort Dodge, Iowa. Uh, when I woke up Wednesday, the weather was so nice. It was close to 50 degrees and everything. And I decided to finally take care of a lot of the small minor repairs I've been meaning to do on the truck. So first off, let me show you the the uh, new muffler and fly pipe and all that. And uh, then we'll dive into some repairs that I took care of. flex pipe that goes to my stack, exhaust stack on the left side of the truck. And that attaches to that Y pipe, and you can see that right there. And it goes down to my new muffler. See, of course, there's my stack on this side. And it goes underneath. You can see there. New bracket. New flex pipe. There's the other side of that white pipe. It goes down. And there's a muffler down there. I zoom in down here between my fuel tank, the right side fuel tank, and my frame, you can see my new muffler down there. Once again, there's the T the white pipe or T pipe, whatever you want to call it. Between the stack on the right side. Yeah, this construction zone they've got us in right now, this tends to be the new way they do things. If they're going to fix a bridge or two, they uh, don't do the whole bridge at once. They, they just do it a few lanes at a time so they don't kill all the traffic. So they've split I-70 eastbound here uh, to one lane on the westbound side and the other lane on the eastbound side split. That yeah, seems to work pretty well. Anyway, so uh, the smaller repairs I needed to do, the side marker trailer light, uh, which is a turn signal and marker light combined, the marker light part of it wasn't working because the wire broke off the plug. I showed you the plug in the last uh, video, and uh, so I needed to replace that, so I thought I'd show you how to do that. It's a fairly easy repair. And then I had um, my airline and electrical line that connects between my trailer and the tandems, which slide. So they have to be held up by springs. Um, when I had all the snow and ice and everything, it drug those springs down to the ground, and the wire, electrical wire, dragged on the ground. This guy's being a jerk. And uh, tore that wire up, so I had to replace that, so we'll get into that repair as well. This is the side marker uh, turn signal light I've been talking about on my trailer. If I back up, you can see it's about halfway down the length of the trailer. 
All right. And underneath there, there's the other repair stuff I've got to work on. See that line is dragging too low to the ground. I'm gonna be dealing with that. All right. First off, we're gonna do this one today. Pulled the wire down a little bit more. You can see. Here's where it attaches. You can see on that side on the little plug. There's supposed to be a third wire down there. Well, it broke off, and it attached right over here where it broke off. So we're gonna have to cut this line here and we're just gonna unplug that plug. Right, first off I'm just gonna cut the old stuff off. I'm trying to remember what went where. White line goes to white, red goes to yellow, and this one looks brown and that's gonna be going to our third line. Which on the new package is black. I'll go ahead and open that up. Yeah, so you can see we've got the three different lines coming off of this plug. Red, black, and white. So red will be going to yellow in this case, white will be going to white. And uh well no, white will be going yeah, white going to white, and uh the black will be going to this brownish one over here. Cut that. Try to pull the plug off of the back of the thing. Probably have to pull the whole light out to do it. Make it easier. Is that in the shot? Looks like it is. So here's the plug on the back. There, that just, oops. So you can see, it has that kind of funny looking three plug on there, <clears throat> which matches up with this one right here. So that just plugs right back in there when I'm done. We'll leave it undone for now. Here's the old wire, we're just gonna, on the old plug. Right. And we're going to rewire right here. Okay, I have the insulation cut off that holds those three wires in there. Now I just have to cut a little bit off the end. Looks like I cut the whole wire there. You just have to kind of score it a little bit to where you can get an edge like that. And I have tough thumbnails, so I just pull them off that way. bend it yeah there we go and my white wire here on the new plug has a an end on it we don't need that so I'm gonna cut that off okay so now I'm gonna match these up to all three of these wires but I gotta put shrink, shrink tubing on the ends of this wire first here's my box of shrink tubing unfortunately the size that I need I've used all up because that's the most common size for the size of wire. But because this is a little too small for right here. So this is the size I'll have to use. It does shrink down, so <clears throat> we're gonna use three of these and put them on the wire. So I just take some of the shrink tubing, goes over each wire, and we slide it down, get that out of the way for now. Do that with all three of these wires. We said red to yellow. So we line them up together and then we just wrap them. I'm just going to take each end, bend it back that way, and pull the shrink tubing up and get it over our new joint. All the way down to there, and then we take our torch out and heat it up. All right, you can see how the tubing 
shrunk down right around our little fix right there. Isn't that nice? Okay, after getting the shrink tubing on all three wires, I'm just going to now wrap it with some Gorilla Tape, or duct tape will work just fine. This is just the uh, black Gorilla Tape. Wrap it all up, because the shrink tubing gave it the weatherproof uh, coating, and now just to wrap everything up neat and tidy, I put on the Gorilla Tape. Now we're ready to plug that back into the old light. Plug it in the end. Alright. I never remember which one goes front. It does say on here. Front, it points that way. Okay. So we stick this back in its grommet. Now working as a turn signal and a marker light. Yay! Well, as you can see, that was a fairly easy repair to do. I call that the quick and dirty method. And the reason I call it that is my father was a professor, a professor of mineral economics at the Colorado School of Mines in Golden, Colorado. That's where I grew up. And uh, he had an odd sense of humor. And he just thought it would be hilarious to write a book on engineering and call it the Quick and Dirty Manual. <laughs> yeah, because it sounds like something you shouldn't be buying. But yep. Yeah, so he called he calls a lot of quick little fixes, the quick things you can do in math and engineering quick and dirty method. So that's my quick and dirty method for repairing the uh, trailer light. All you need is that torch, some shrink tubing, and a little bit of uh, finger power. It's pretty easy to do. My torch is a big one. You don't have to have one that big. You can get away with one of those little torches, which is just uh, about, you know, a little bit uh, bigger than like an average cigarette lighter or something. They work just as well for that too. It's just you need some sort of torch when you're out there in the wind, like a lighter, it won't work well enough. It'll just kind of, it'll keep blowing out. So, anyway, that's that repair. Now we'll move on to the, uh, underneath the trailer to do the uh, electrical line along with the airlines there that hangs down below the trailer. And that's next. Here's a perspective you don't see a lot underneath one of these trailers. This is my newer brackets, by the way, that they put on, but they didn't do it completely correct. See, they down there, but look, that tab is supposed to be against the trailer skirt. They didn't put them on completely correctly. Something else I've got to do, but I'm not going to be doing that today. Today we're dealing with this, the air and electric line for the trailer so that these, when these tandems slide back, this of course, instead of being all looped up, will be straight back to the trailer section. Like you say, you don't get a view of this a lot. There's my brake cans for the trailer brakes. Those are the airbags for the trailer. They give it suspension. Like you say, it's something you don't get to see a lot. But we're underneath trying to fix this, so we're going to get to it. Well, I had no idea there were so many wires in this one line, but it looks like there's four. Got this white one here, red one, white with a black stripe, and a blue. And here's the other end where they all separated, and this is because, see, this was dragging down here on the pavement. That's why I've got to get some way to pick this up a little bit more, and we'll deal with that after I do the wire repair. So I'm going to do essentially the exact same thing I did on the uh, light repair on the other side. So I won't show that, it's just pulling the wires off, exposing the wire, doing the shrink tubing, yada, yada, yada. So I'll uh, just get that done now. I've got it repaired about as best as I can. Wrapped it all up in a whole bunch of Gorilla Tape. I'm going to try to get the insulation back around a little bit and then we'll put on a bracket and try to do with this spring hanger. Alright, well now that I got that repaired, I did buy another, I don't know if you can hear me with all the wind down here, it's getting very windy. A little bracket thing, and we'll go across the hose, hold the lines in place, and maybe we can attach something to that. 
And here's the other spring I bought. It's actually made to hang airlines off the back of your cab, but I'm gonna take the two part off and see if I can use this. Okay, got the new clamp thing attached on there. Now I just have to find some how to attach this into the spring up underneath the trailer. Okay, because it had this this hook kind of thing on here, I just attached it to where that spring is at the top. So that one's going to there, this one's now going to here, and you see how nicely now it all hangs up off of the ground. So hopefully when it stretches out, that spring will, will expand enough when I slide the tandems. But for now, I think got the wire repaired and I think that's going to work to hold my airlines up off of the ground. So another repair done. And of course here's my great tool bag from the Luth Training Company. Love my little tool bag. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Also fixed my trailer light. Trailer, trailer light. light. Uh, trailer license plate light. I had to fix. I just had to put a couple of bolts into it. I had Gorilla glued it on last time, it fell off, so I would bolt it on this time. And there's the inside of my trailer with the trailer lights now working again. Sure makes it nice for when you have to get in there at night and clean this thing out. And the shippers and receivers love it too, and I think they're a little nicer to my trailer. And they can see what the hell they're doing. Still need to buy a switch for it, so I just did a jimmy rig fix, just so I can at least get them back on. Well, I hope that uh, helped you see how easy it is to do a lot of minor uh, wire repairs, especially. As I always say, you can fix damn near any wire kind of issue on your truck with just uh, some shrink tubing, a torch, scissors, and if you need to wrap it with some uh, electrical tape or the Gorilla Tape like I used on, underneath the trailer, that's about it. It just takes some of your time and uh, a little bit of warmer weather. You hate to do that kind of crap in the cold. but pretty easy repairs and like I say putting the license plate bracket back on or light back on and then I just did a <coughs> quick jimmy rig fix for the lights inside the trailer but you know save me money when I can get an actual good weatherproof switch I'll go ahead and finish that off and I'm gonna move the switch outside of the trailer instead of inside where it seems to keep getting killed so there you go but hope that helped you out right Rusty I, I try to get him to help me at least hold the camera but he keeps refusing. Thanks for tuning in. As always, uh, please like and comment if you would like to. I get to your comments. Sometimes it takes a day or two because uh, I am a working truck driver. Uh, please ring that bell for notifications so you know when new videos come out or you know when we go live. Might just end up going live this weekend. Look out. And uh, as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. You give my niece or any other kid in this school a hard time, and I'm coming looking for you. Here, here's a quarter. Take a bus downtown and have a rat gnaw that thing off your face. Good day to you, madam. Begging strips! Jump up high! Jump up high! Oh, we dropped it. <laughs> yeah, believe me, he found it.